New information as a bridge connecting Tennessee and Arkansas is back open to traffic after weeks of repair work. The Hernando de Soto Bridge in Memphis was shut down after a crack was found. But as News 2's Nikki McGee reports, it's just one of hundreds of bridges in our state with structural deficiencies. The issue of structural flaws certainly isn't unique to bridges in Memphis. In fact, right here in Davidson County, this is one of nearly 40 that are considered to be in poor condition. Engineers at the Tennessee Department of Transportation tell me these bridges are inspected at least once every two years, and it was an inspection that caught the crack in the I-40 bridge in Memphis. They say catching that crack is an example of their inspection process is working. In 2021, the National Bridge Inventory Report found that Tennessee had nearly 900 structurally deficient bridges. TDOT says because the bridge is structurally deficient, that doesn't mean it's not safe to travel on. It does not mean that at all. In fact, um, if a bridge is open, it's safe to travel on. Okay, so just because a bridge is structurally deficient, that means that some portion of the bridge is in need of some kind of repair, but it is safe to travel on. Otherwise, it would be closed. A bridge is deemed to be structurally deficient if one of three elements is in poor condition. That's either the substructure, the superstructure, or the deck. Each year, TDOT spends an average of $50 million on bridge repairs and another $100 million on replacements. Coming up tonight at 10, I'll tell you about the most traveled bridges in our areas that are raising red flags for federal officials. Reporting from Nashville, Nikki McGee, News 2.